to another sit down with Oprah. Another sit down with Oprah, another sit down with Oprah, please be clear. Please be clear. Please be clear. Yeah, she is. She's gonna do another one. Now I need to ask, is Harry gonna join in or will it be solo? Will she do it solo? Will she do this Oprah interview solo? Will the next time be solo? Will it be solo? Will it be solo? Jesus, no. It's saying no. Wow. I can't believe Harry would do that. She's doing another okay. interview. <clears throat> Not and bridging the gap too to much, it. are they? Okay. So it's looking like a no. Hopefully I'm wrong. I hope I'm wrong. Okay, so next question. Um, Shoot. What's wrong? I think I'm down to my last inhaler. Don't worry, you can refill it and get it delivered using the Kaiser Permanente app. Smart. So refill those prescriptions online and get machine. delivery for no cost. Great parties start by recycling the new ball aluminum cup. In about 60 days, the recycled aluminum can return as part of other infinitely recyclable, lightweight yet sturdy cups. Bringing out the best in cold drinks and lifting up any get together. So enjoy. Reuse just a few times if you like and then recycle the new ball aluminum cup. So for educational purposes, let's see which card do we draw. Why did Megan send the queen an interruption of flowers when Prince Philip had already planned his funeral to a T? Why did Megan deconstruct it? Okay. Um... All right, let's go, let's do it. We're gonna go one card, two cards, three cards, four cards, five cards, six cards. Okay, why did Megan deconstruct the Oh. oh, who's doing that? What are you doing, Liz? So we've got the ten. The wands. Okay, so the ten of wands. So it says the Ten of Wands. Okay, so the Ten of Wands Yeah, let's see Okay, the Ten of Wands is a card of many significances and some of the readings cannot be harmonized Set aside which connects it with honor and good faith I set aside which it connects it to honor and good faith. It is oppression. It is oppression. It is simply oppression, but it also it is also fortune, gain, any kind of success of these things. It is also a card of false seeming. So she's playing them. 
She wants to make sure that uh, she gains something from Philip's funeral and she is trying to oppress the family. Wow. What a bitch. Okay. Ooh. The Ten. The Ten of Wands. She got another one. Ooh. Okay, the figure leans upon his staff and has an expectant look. Oh, I'm sorry, the one that I read before was this one. That's oppression. This one. Signifies strength. If attacked, he will meet the onslaught boldly with this main significance. There are all its possible adjuncts, including delay, suspension, and adjournment. So. She's not giving up. She is going to keep coming back. That's why she sent those flowers. She sent the flowers to make sure that they know that she's not going anywhere and she's not giving up. This, she sent the flowers because she's trying to oppress the family. Wow, that's horrible. Oh my God, another one, Six of Wands. This is kind of bad. So the six of the seven of wands is a young man on a craggy eminence brandishing a staff. Six other sta staves are raised towards him from below. It is a card of valor, for on the surface six are attacking one, who has, however, the vantage position. On the intellectual plane, it signifies discussion, wordy strife in business, negotiation, war of trade, barter, competition. It is a further card of success for the combatant is on the top and his enemies may be unable to reach him. So that that is a very true card. They are a content they're continents apart, so they cannot do they there's nothing they can do to stop her. And she sent the flowers knowing well that Prince Philip had um planned his funeral to a T. And I don't know how she managed to get those flowers on top of his coffin, but she did. And uh, and this is what that means. So this is her card, and her card is um, Wand Seven. It's competition. She's a comp. She's competing with the royal family right now. My my. Oh my gosh. The Eight of Wands. Okay, so let's see. The Eight of Wands is the card that represents motion through the immobile, Im immobile. A fight of wands through an open country. So, activity and undertakings, the path of such activity, swiftness as that of an oppress and of an express messenger. Yeah. She made it clear that she was not going to be cut out of this um, particular um, function, royal function, even though it was Prince Philip's um, funeral. And she wanted to make it clear, and that's why she sent those flowers. She's making it clear that uh, she's got a lot of power enough power to bring flowers and put them on the coffin like she said for them to do that's where they wanted the flowers the people and that's where they were able to put the flowers and situate them along with a handwritten note of Megan's that said whatever it was that she said you know her condolences um, this must have aggravated the Queen because the Queen at one point stopped and looked at the camera upon entering and she gave the camera a very um, a very yielding look so it could be interpreted as a 
you know, as she wants to look back, but I think she was making it clear that, um, great haste, great hope, speed towards an end. Yeah, she wants to, uh, she wants to make sure that they, they reconcile while on this trip, Harry and William. Okay. The Page of Wands. Let's see what the Page of Wands means. Who's in there? The Page of Wands. Where's the Page of Wands? 28. What's going on in there? Who's going, who's doing this? Huh? What the fuck, Lily? <laughs> okay, so the page of wands is in a scene similar in the former, to the former, a young man stands in the act of proclamation. He is unknown but faithful, and his tidings are strange. That's true. Why would she, um, why? The funeral was completely planned by Prince Philip. Everything was done to a T. And here she comes, sending them flowers. Why would she do that? Well... She's trying to make sure that everybody knows that a postman, that, uh, okay, so as a dark young man, faithful lover, an envoy, a postman beside a man, he will bear favorable testimony concerning him. So he, she's trying to back up, um, Harry. She's trying to back him up. Um, if followed by the page of cups okay so has the chief qualities of his suit so she's she's just trying to back him up she's trying to black carry up and then whoa borderless deck the magic seer I don't know what that is let's see what that means uh, magic seer huh scary looking I don't know if I've ever seen that card on me what's going on who's making that noise where is she Is that the magic seer? Is that nobody? So let's see what she did. Let's see. So she is a... Okay. So let's write these down. Okay. <laughs> You're so funny. Okay. So the seven of wands. Okay. 
Okay, so she wants to talk about it. All right. So it's sign the six of wands, the seven of wands. Uh, signifies discussion, wordy strife, in business negotiation. So the wands of seven. Wands. Seven. Negotiation. Okay. Um, she got wands eight. Uh, the card represents emotion through the immovable, a fight of wands through an open country. So she's basically um, activity and understandings, undertakings. So she is going to be above, going. She goes above and beyond, right? Going above and beyond. Wands eight. going above and beyond okay um, as that of an expressed messenger okay so the flowers represent wands eight um, um, okay, so that which is on the move is on the move and also the arrows of love. So she loves him, wands seven, right? Wands eight. Uh, she got the 10, right? Wands nine. Okay, so learns upon, figure leans upon his staff and has an expected look as if waiting for, as if awaiting an enemy. So this one, she she sees the uh, wands seven is negotiation. Wands eight is going above and beyond. And and uh, wands ten is going above and beyond as that of an express messenger, that which is on the move, also the arrows of love. So she's doing it because she loves Harry. And once 10, Oh, so she will succeed. Okay, so let's try this again. The one seven is negotiation. The one's eight is going above and beyond. And the one's ten. Let's see, one's ten. Okay, so fortune. So this is oppression. This is oppression. And then if it's followed, success is stole to five. If the nine of swords follows, and if it is a question 
of a lawsuit, there will be certain laws. Mm. Mm. Let's try this again. Okay, so she's got the five cards. We needed to pick one more card. Let's pick the top one. Ooh, death. Death. Okay, so let's see what death says. Okay, so the, so wands eight. Okay, so wands eight is everything. Wands ten. Wands ten is um, all for love. Okay, one's ten. She can't. Okay, so. It is oppression. Oppression. But it's also gain. Suffering. Okay, suffering. And then the ones of nine. And the ones of nine. Fighting back. Okay, so fighting back, delay, adjournment, um, suspension, and awaiting the enemy. Wow, she got good cards. Okay, so Wands eight, she's did it for love. Uh Wands seven. No, that was one seven. Okay, Wands eight, she did it for love. Wands seven. She did it because she's trying to negotiate. Wands 10, 
she's trying to oppress the royal family and it's gonna be her gain and uh, this is the card of suffering she's bringing suffering and in she draws the nine of wands it's a lawsuit so this is about a lawsuit she's she's trying to win right now okay and then here's the wands of nine which is fighting back uh, making sure that she delays whatever it is that they're tr they're trying to cut Harry off and she's trying to delay it uh, it means fighting back it means adjournment it means suspension it means awaiting the enemy okay and then she's got the Page of Wands. Let's see what the Page of Wands is. And the Page of Wands is um, in a scene similar to the former young man stands in the act of proclamation. He is unknown but faithful and his tidings are strange. Okay, so whatever she did to get there makes her look a little funny, okay? But she's there, she's arrived. And so she, whatever she did, she, she was able to persevere. And so that's why she's there, okay? So she persevered in showing up by sending these flowers to the funeral. Okay. And then we've got death. Oh, wow. Death came up on the funeral. That's wild. Eight tens. No, no, no. Hi, baby. Oh, no. You can't step on the cards, silly girl. Okay, so then, um, death. Let's see what that says. No, mama. Is it even in there? Death. So it's end. Mortality, destruction, corruption, also for a man, the loss of a benefactor, for a woman, many contrary, contrarities. For a maid, failure of marriage projects. So, for a woman, many contrarities, contrarities. So, um, she lies quite a bit, is what that says. Okay, thanks for hanging. <laughs> it was a really long and drawn out section because it was my first reading. But I appreciate you being here. It's been grand. God, look at my face. All right, guys, thanks so much.